real wage growth averaged 2.9% in the 1970s and 1980s, 1.5% in the 1990s, 1.2% in the 2000s, but has fallen to minus 2.2% since the first quarter of 2010, the ONS figures showed. And yet, the rhetoric the whole time, whoever the pimp is, is telling them they're doing better and better all the time, and people seem to really believe it. Maybe they're addicted, so addicted to the debt that they think they're doing better. Well, it's a poison chalice, this debt, because it is finite. Uh, whereas the interest costs on the debts are infinite and will never be paid back. That's why there will be a global recalibration of the currency markets against something that has value like gold. And for those people who are being completely forced off the grid, they are into cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin as the only salvation they have to maintain any kind of personal sovereignty. Here in Britain, because so many, so few people have individual sovereignty because they have no savings, the nation itself cannot claim to have genuine sovereignty above and beyond the debt crack core slingers in the city and around the world. Therefore, it's a vassal state, it, it's an occupied state by debt crack slingers, debt whores. And of course, when you think about debt whores, I think about Christy Lagarde. I don't know why, but there she is, the IMF, and she just has the smarmy-looking face of a debt crack whore. Uh, but that's all I'll say about that.